All right, so Koala AI is having a summer sale. It is to celebrate their fifth total of 15,000 paid members or paid users that are using the tool. The dates are August 19th, so it started yesterday. Some of you have already begun signing up for some of these plans to save money. Well, you have August 19th to August 26th, so you have six more days at the time of this video going out. We're gonna do some testing of the software, the quality and so forth. I'll show you a little bit of the software today. Let me know below, just type in Koala if you want me to do more tutorials on using their various tools and so forth and different types of articles that you can write in there. But the important thing to know is during the sale, the professional plan will be available for $29 a month. It's regular, regularly at $49 per month when billed annually. And it does include all of the pro features, automatic internal linking. You have to have a professional plan or higher to get the internal linking features. Even if you bought those credit packs and so forth, I have a bunch of credits to use. You don't get the automatic internal unless you're a subscription or subscribing payer. Polish AI powered editing, Koala magnets, premium AI image models, custom AI image styles, higher token limits in Koala chat. They have processed over 4 million internal links using the tool so far. And then let's see over here. So note that all plans 40% off, but the professional plan is our most popular and contains some key features after the sale. The price of the annual plans will be increased. So annual plans go up. You'll get grandfathered in if you purchase now though. So this is kind of like your last kind of chance to get them at this price level. Those prices are going up and then also they're removing the $9 essentials plan starting next week. So after this sale, the $9 essentials plan goes away and then also pricing for professional plan and higher goes up. So that's the useful stuff to know, but here is really something cool. If you use coupon code, there is a link below. Obviously I am a fan of Koala Riders and for the last two years it has ranked at my top in my top five list for highest quality and most capable AI writers. I'm gonna begin testing again right now. But Koala Writer, if you use coupon code David Mills, it's right here. I'll literally put that in the description below. Click the link and go sign up. Uh, I just went to test this out. You will get an additional 15% off additionally. So I'm going to go and show you that right now. So if we come over here, I went like I'm going to purchase the professional plan. Look at the professional plan right here. And the professional plan is normally 340. I put in the coupon code David Mills and we got $52.20 taken off. So you get 40% taken off and then you get an additional 15% taken off that if you use coupon code David Mills. You'll get this down, the sucker down to $295, under $300 and you'll get the professional plan. We'll come down here and look at the professional plan is going to get you 1.2 million words per year, which is crazy. And that, you know, rings up to less than $300. You're going to get this 1.2 million words right there. And you get access to all this stuff right here. Really cool stuff. So that is, you get 40% off. You can use this on any of these right over here. I mean, they've, a lot of times they don't do this on the big giant plans because it's using so many words and so forth, but it goes all the way up to their advanced plan right there as well. And it even goes further than that to, to their scale one, two, and three plans, which are just nuts. Obviously they wouldn't have these plans right here if people were not using them, building out dozens and dozens of websites using AI to do it. This might be a, a good chance to start getting back into the AI uh, content game because from what I'm hearing from a lot of SEO YouTube channels that sites are um, affiliate sites and so forth are starting to recover with this helpful content update from a few days ago. So definitely do your research, but you might, might want to look into it. So those are the pricing plans. Let's go in. I mean, obviously you have Koala images. You can use this to create images. There's Koala magnets. I'm gonna have to do a whole tutorial on just how to use these tools over here, but let's just focus on, and then you have Koala chat right over here. And I do like that they've added in Claude 3 Opus, Claude 3.5 Sonnet and ChatGPT 4.0, and then ChatGPT 3.5 and 4.0 Mini. You can actually use this uh, inside of here. So you don't have to uh, move back and forth between all the applications. And that doesn't cost you any money or, or credits in here to use those two. So super cool. 
But let's go to Koala Rider, and I'm gonna be doing some testing with this. I already have a preset. You can save your presets over here once you kind of set what you're gonna use. I'm gonna use Claude 3 Sonnet. I've always said that I, I like Claude better for blog writing. So we've got a blog post type, but you can select between listicle, local places, roundup. I believe that's pretty new. Amazon roundup, product roundup, Amazon single product review, YouTube video to blog post and rewrite blog post. I want to also test that one out, but we're probably not going to do that in this video. We'll just do blog post right now. I do have SEO optimization on AI powered, and then I do have it on auto. I only want up to three images and one video. I want a medium size. The days of having three, 4,000 word posts, I just don't think that's a good idea, especially if it's just AI and you're not going to do a lot of editing to the content. I would stay away from really long articles. You do get a lot of customization right here for length. I'm going to go with medium right now. I almost would like to turn this down. Maybe even to short would be fine as well. But we'll stick it where right there for now. We got SEO, tone of voice. You can do all kinds of stuff. I like first person right here, that more personalized touch. And then I want to cite sources, real time data, of course. So the FAQs, I think that's kind of old school. I don't really like that anymore. And then your key takeaways, that's all. I'm almost starting to feel like key takeaways, you know, for the last three years, that's been a big deal. But now everybody's doing key takeaways. So you might want to turn that off. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. And then improve readability. It does say that it works better with ChatGBT 4.0, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on, even though I'm using Claude. There is an advanced section URLs to link to. So you can actually paste in URLs right here, external URLs if you want to go out and do more research and get this. You can also extra title prompt, custom outline, extra, you know, you have some customization in here, which is super cool. You can also disable the introduction and conclusion if you wanted to, but we're going to go ahead and stick in our right over here. The uh, target keyword, we're going to go ahead and put that one in advanced SEO strategies using AI tools. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the article right now. Remember to use these higher quality models. It is going to take two times the amount of credits. That's just the way that it goes. And we'll be back in a minute. While we're writing that article, I'm going to go back to my newbie gardening AI uh, case study from last year, uh, Koala Single. That basically meant that I put a lot more effort into the article. Um, I just, it was a one off, so it wasn't using any kind of bulk writing tools. Over here, if I click on Koala, that was actually written with the bulk method. So these ranked well. These had, actually had search volume and they were ranking on page, you know, two, three, two, three, and four or no, page two and three actually. And then if I come over here and look at Koala, you'll see all the rankings over here, even from the bulk writer. And a lot of these had, I mean, look, we were, we had a 15, a number 15 ranking page two mid page for a keyword that gets up to almost fourth search volume right there. And then rank 22, 54. So we were starting to really take off right over here before the site just completely got taken down, right? And so I believe I can't find the document where I did a full analysis. I believe, I believe I made a video about this. So we can actually go back and look at the video. But these were the main tools I used was a Koala Agility and Zimrider for most of the, the content. And I believe that Koala at the end of the day one at the end of the day just had the better rankings for the harder keywords with search volume and so forth. So just wanted to kind of point that out. Now we'll go back into Koala Writer. So we have our content right here. We can go and look at the details. It wrote 1800 words for us. Uh, you can assign it to a project if you want to. Tells you all the different uh, information that we used for this. But what I really like is this introduction, a very short introduction. AI is changing the game for SEO experts. I've seen how these uh, smart tools can boost website rankings and drive more traffic. AI SEO tools use machine learning and natural language processing to analyze search patterns, optimize content, and provide data-driven uh, insights that were once out of reach for many marketers. So I really like how it can come in here. I've seen how these smart tools, that's what I like. I think that just sounds better. It's more engaging. And we've got a nice solid title up there, an image that uh, works as well. AI powered SEO tools are becoming, so you can actually hover over this and it uh, goes to blog.hubspot, marketing AI SEO. So we've got our external links coming in right there. We've got a nice, short, uh, concise paragraphs, and that's what we want as well. Key takeaways, and we've got an understanding of the role of SEO. It brought in a course on AI SEO right here. I brought in a YouTube video, the evolution of AI SEO tools, key AI technologies and SEO, and just kind of looking through here. I mean, I really like how it's chopped this up into very digestible paragraphs, very short sentences. Again, here's an external link from SEMrush, crafting an AI driven content strategy, another nice image right there. 
leveraging AI for targeted keyword research, content creation with AI writing assistance. I mean, this is really good. I, I find AI especially useful for creating different versions of my content. It helps me make social media posts or email subject lines that match my main content. So this is just the top of the line content from now you can go and get this from Claude. I could go into Claude and I can show you how we can probably get some good content, but it will take where this shines. We're going to talk about this later, but where this shines is that this just produced a 1800 word article with images, with a uh, video that's it's all nice and uh, chopped up. No big giant paragraphs, no weird AI sounding, you know, in today's AI world, all these, you know, phrases that AI likes to uh, write about. And we've got relevant external links. I mean, this is starting to get into some just cutting edge AI content. Every time I come in here to Koala, I get excited about what it's capable of doing. So pretty cool stuff. The AI images are great. They pass. And then we just got a lot of external links. So good stuff. Using AI to analyze and improve website performance, AI tools to comprehensive site audit. Again, links and links. This just looks really good. I use tools like Market Muse to analyze, blah, blah, blah. By combining competitive insights, market productions, and uh, content analysis, I create SEO strategies that are both data-driven. So we didn't get the conclusion, didn't really get a conclusion to this, but we're good right there. So we'd go and I'm going to go ahead and take this. We're going to copy this article and go do some testing now. I'm going to turn this back on like this because we're going to be flipping between a lot. So for now, this is just a, a fun tool I'm going to use for now because it's, it's like it's an a tool that I don't have to go and use Neuron Writer and then go put the keyword in and wait, do all those things. I, I can just plug this in right here and I'm going to put the focus keyword in. I'm going to just say that this is the, the keyword that we're going after right over here. And then we're going to, we can find more keyword suggestions, but I'm not really going to do that. Enter the page title. All right, so here's our meta description. I'm just going to grab this right here. And I might change this. We just, I just want to be using a tool that's uh, fast and easy to use. It's from seoreviewtools.com. And we'll come over here to the optimization tips. So the content score, we have a page title score of 80, made a description 85. Okay, so it gives us a total grade. So we got an 84 right here. And I'm going to try to follow the same process for any of the other tools that I create, but we got an 84 right here. All right, so we're just going to put 84 in right there. We're going to go into Hemingway. And so Hemingway is a grade eight. That is really good for a con for a article of this length, 1800 words for it to be grade eight. That's really good. All right. So we've got an 85 in Grammarly. All right. So this, I'm going to probably have to make a whole video on this, but this is why I don't really want to measure the AI detection. So we're at here at GPT zero and you can see that it's, it's saying that it's human right? 71% human is what they are saying about that. But then if we go into originality, originality says 100% confident that it's AI. So it had no, you know, uniqueness, if you will. And I've checked it in a couple of different ones, like right over here, 34%, I mean, basically 35%, most of your text is AI. So it's all over the place, right? It's all over the place. All these de detectors do different things. They have different algorithms. And at the end of the day, AI content is not getting penalized. I almost just don't want to check. I, just, I almost want to take this off the list. We need to have another metrics here because the AI score is just not relevant. Like your content can be written with AI as long as it's quality and so forth, right? So I just want to do these straight numbers here. I think the reading uh, score is important. And then this subjective tone structure score is going to be, I'm going to take this off guys. You guys tell me what you think about that, but it's just, I can, this, you could pass, we can get this to pass, right? But it doesn't mean that it's content that should be posted right? Even though we can do all kinds of things to make this pass as human generated AI text. But the problem is, is that doesn't mean that's quality content that should be published on your site. And that's where this new score is going to come in where I'm going to just have to be subject. It's a subjectiveness and it's a bias based on my own thought process and knowledge. But I just, I can't add that in anymore because I just showed you all the scores and they're all, all over the place. And then I'm trying to decide what the final score is going to be over here. But the subjective tone, if we go back over and look at the quality of the content, right? Go back over here and, and I read through it. The, I mean, it's really good. It's in first person, like we asked it to. It's chopped up in, into these bite-sized chunks right here. 
So you're never going to get overwhelmed while you're reading. It's got the nice structure and key takeaways. It did good job on the AI images and so forth. So I'm going to have to give this a, a very high score with content quality. The quality of the content is just superb. And then the fact that I'm using Claude Sonnet 3.5, which is, in my opinion, the highest quality writing that you can get from AI, period, anyways, and it delivered. So that's where the subjective score is going to come in. Okay, so here's how I'm going to grade this. We're not doing the AI detection. You guys can, you know, leave comments below if you think that that's just super important, then I'll add it back in. But I just, uh, you know, using three different tools, some saying that it's human written, some saying it's like medium, and then some saying that it's uh, all AI. I mean, it just, there's just no way. And then finally, if Google straight up came out and said that AI is not allowed on sites and you get penalized if we detect it and here's the tool to measure or whatever. Like there's just no way we're ever going to get around the AI uh, part. And so AI is not is OK to publish on your site. So it's not even it shouldn't really even be a factor at this point. OK, so here's how I'm grading this. Right. So we do have a Heming Hemingway score. This is the readability score and it got an eight. OK, so I have a key over here that's basically saying that I'm saying that if it lands between a four and an eight, that it's going to get the max points 10. That's the perfect readability right there. Maybe we want between sixth and eighth grade. I don't think I've ever even seen it lower than like fifth grade anyway. So, but you're going to get max points. Eighth grade is, is absolutely perfect because everybody's going to be able to read it and understand it. Nine and 11, I'm going to give five points for that. And then if it's 12 plus, it's uh, zero points. That's the scale that we're waiting on this. And then these SEO score, that's just going to be the, it's just going to be this plus this column D plus the Grammarly score. Obviously, the higher the Grammarly score, the better. The higher the SEO score, the better. And then the subjectiveness is out of 10 points. It's a zero to 10. And that's just basically me uh, skimming through, reading the some of the text, the intro, the conclusion, structure, and just my overall subjective biased opinion about the content and if I think it's good or not. And, and it's going to be based out of 10 points. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine right there. So that's what we're going to give. The final score is a 188 on Koala. So it's going to be a very high score. What do you guys think about this new like testing structure? I know I've created a few of these. Sometimes I lose the sheet and I can't find it again. Other times it just evolves and I want to measure different things. Do you think that these weights are, you know, like correct? I mean, we can put more weight on the reading score if we wanted to give it, you know, 30 points and, you know, 15 points. We can sure rate this higher, but I don't think the reading score is as important. This is just a way to measure. You know what? I mean, I got to be honest with you. Once you look at all these softwares, and you've reviewed hundreds of AI writers over the last few years, this score right here is really going to be the most important score, in my opinion. Just your overall feel and thought of the actual software when you when it writes and you read the content and so forth. I mean, I could add in images over here, image capability and things like that, that could be another thing I could score. But once we really start diving into all these different things, it gets more you know complex to look at from this standpoint. I do think that one other final kind of verdict or a, a cool way to measure this would be to add one more column. And I can easily do that later on, but would be rankability factor. But I'm not going to try, you know, try out a bunch of tools right over here and then go put, it's not like it was in 2021, 22, where, you know, tested this, you went and put it out on your website to see if it would rank because the quality of the content really does matter more than ever now. And so I'm not going to use some, you know, AI writer that doesn't have the financial backing and the history and longevity of being a quality AI writer. I'm not going to put something that doesn't have that stature um, on my site, right? So I'm not going to be able to, to test ranking capability on all of these. But certainly for the premium ones that I'll be using, you know, your uh, agility writers, your koalas, those I do trust to publish the content. So I'll keep up with that. I'll keep you guys apprised of any uh, rankings that I get from this uh, content. But overall, koala is one of the best, if not the best AI writer out there right now, continuing to develop and get even more tools available go use coupon code David Mills, go pick up one of the annual plans and get 40% um, off right now inside of Koala. You have until August uh, 26th before the prices go up and then the $9 plan goes away. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, kind of refresh on Koala. I'm going to go and publish this on my site, actually go and check it out and then go publish it. And then I'll keep you guys updated if I can get some rankings and so forth. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.